I'm just admiring my super long glittery nails. They're just these inside. I'm gonna show you how to do one long one on me and then I'm gonna do little cute ones on Grant. What's really cool about this is the different, they're kind of multifaceted, but what's really cool, I did these and then I put sheer gel polish on top. Changes the look entirely, but you can still see all the levels of different light bouncing off of the different reflections of the product that's in there. So I'm gonna do this thumb. Now I've done this, the long and square, and that usually gets in the photos. Thumbs don't really, they're not a focal point in the photos, but I'm gonna do this one kind of long and pointy to show how the product lays differently and it's really, really cool. And then we're gonna have Grant and we're gonna do his nails and show how cute they can look with the same kind of effect. Okay, so I'm just gonna buff this nail up and get it ready. Okay, I'm just gonna give this a gentle buff. This is my easy gel. This is hybrid gel. And I am gonna create my nail with a gel product. And I'm gonna do Grant's with the base of it being acrylic. So you get to see the two different. So I'm just buffing this up ever so gently. And I do wanna make sure that it's not thick because I want the products to be inside the gel. That's what creates that really cool reflection that makes it look so almost, um, oh my, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, like you're looking deep down into a crystal with different facets and cuts on it. It's really cool. I'm gonna use this particular adhesion because it's really good between products. Like this is a hybrid gel and I'm putting on a hard gel. So I'm gonna use this product to be able to bond those two different products together. They're still in the gel family. This is basically a primer bonder. It could be referred to the same kind of thing. It's, it's an adhesive, I'm just massaging it on. Okay, I'm just gonna give this a 60 second cure. Okay, so now I just need a really good form. And I'm going to, you don't have to do this, but pinching the end can help you line it up a little bit. Okay, so for this, I'm gonna use my Susie's Glass Nails. I love this because it's super, super clear. And with this design, that's what we want. Really, really clear. Whenever I do a design like this where I got a lot of stuff happening in it, I don't want my nail to get thicker and thicker. I still want the same thin nail. I just want all the stuff in it. And I want that stuff to be down in there, especially something like this, because it's reflective. The more gel on top, the more reflective it is and the more depth it has. So I'm gonna put a very, very thin layer of hard gel. I'm gonna put the thickest part of my bead right in that stress zone so it'll settle in there and I'm going to paint so it's nice and sticky for the little shiny pieces to stick to that. Now I'm gonna bring this down here and create the shape, but it's going to be very, very thin. That's right, I'm gonna to go to a point. So I'm just gonna bring this to a point, just for a different shape. We can see the long and square, but I just gotta, this is my favorite shape, so I just gotta see it with the shape. Okay, just make sure my sides are all intact. I kind of missed a spot here, so I'm just gonna make sure it's all painted on the whole nail. Okay, make sure I got this side. I might get a tiny bit more on the side here just to make sure it's brought all the way out. Hello, Jeej. Looks like we've got some company. Gigi really wants to get in on the ass. She, she just wants to be petted so bad. So bad, don't you? Okay, so I'm gonna nuke this because I want to hold that shape in there. And it's very, very thin. Now you do wanna stick the mylar to it when it's, when it's um, wet, right? So it's sticky. Once you cure it, it's not as sticky. But what I'm gonna do is I am gonna cure this because I want to hold this shape. It's super, super thin. Then you're gonna see what I'm gonna do. Okay, so that's got a good cure on there. So the reason why I do that is because I've established my shape and I've got a super thin layer and I want it to hold it there because the next layer will, if I just put the product on here, it could move while I'm putting the product on and I don't wanna lose that shape. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna paint a very thin layer 
like a nail polish layer. And I'm going to paint it right over top of this whole nail. Look at Gigi Cameron. She is invested. Something is fixating her. I'm not sure I think she light. hears the cameras focusing in and out. Oh, that's what it is. I think that's what she's doing. Yeah, the overhead cameras are moving slightly and she sees yeah. it moving. She's, she's like her little want to attack director. It <laughs> One day. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is paint a thin layer everywhere that I want to stick the mylar. And in this case, I want it over the whole nail. So I'm going to paint this thin, sticky layer, and I'm not going to cure this one. And now we can have some fun getting creative. Cool. Okay. Now let's get to the fun stuff. So I'm actually working with the green. And what are these called? You know, I haven't put them on the website yet, so I don't really know what I'm going to call them. You still have to think of the name. Okay. Mylar sticks. <laughs> I don't know. It's a good question. What do you think? Oh. Reflective mylar. I mean, mylar is reflective. That's what I'm it is. the wrong I don't know. person to ask for that. What? I'll try to base it on something computerized. Or oh, anyway. goodness. I'm not being very creative with uh, my names right now, but. Shiny grass. Oh, that's, that's a great marketing angle right yeah. there. Okay. So I'm just going to grab like one end of it and I literally just stick it on. So I'm going to grab this like pointy green one here. Now I'm going to put the point toward the end of the nail. So I'm going to lay this point right this way. The pointy part is going toward the end of the finger. I'm just going to keep putting a bunch in there. Sometimes you can get two of them, and then I just mush them between me fingers. Then I can separate them and pull one out. When I did these nails, I did the other four fingers, I laid down all of the nail first, like all the thin part first, and cured it all at the same time. And then I laid in all of the bits all at the same time. Just it goes much faster. When you're doing one nail, you know, it takes longer sometimes. I'm actually looking forward to doing Grant's hand because then I have two hands. Right now I struggle with one. I'll try a couple of these light ones in here. Okay, so what I do to get that dimension is I will cure this one now. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure this and then I'm gonna put another thin layer so we can put more on and get that more depth. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this farm out. I'm gonna be really, 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 really careful because it's very, very thin. So what I wanna do is loosen the side tabs and then pinch so it's removed from that product completely first before we take it out. It's very, very thin. So make sure it's released and then pull it out and then get rid of it. <laughs> so what I love about this is that I can really see through now where I've got some holes where I can put some more of this stuff, whatever I'm gonna call it. If you got any ideas, make sure you comment below. Give me some good names. Okay, so I'm gonna paint another thin layer of the hard gel. So I'm gonna paint a nice thin layer like a coat of gel polish on top of the whole thing once again, so we can get another layer. Okay, now I'm just gonna build the nail. Now we built it a little bit, but it's really, really thin. So now I'm gonna build the layer that's gonna give it its strength and structure. So I'm gonna get a big blob. Once you put the big blob on there, you start to see how it just looks so much deeper. You see that? See what's happening? Doesn't that look cool? Now I'm just gonna bring this all the way down. Just a little side tip when you're working with gel. Try to keep contact all the time, unless you're getting a new bead. Just helps reduce the bubbles. If 
Bubble. It looks pretty good. So now I'm just going to give this a good nuke and then we can file it. Wow, that is beautiful. Okay, I'm going to remove this dispersion layer. I'm going to file this up and we're going to get Grant here. Okay, I have completely filed this now and I'm going to top coat it, but I'll wait because guess who's here now? It's me. Hi, Grant. How are you? I'm just Ducky. How are you? Good. So see these nails? Look at them buttes. They, they look stunning, gorgeous. That's what you're going to have. Oh. Uh, what shape do you want? Uh, this one or I, this one? I like these better than 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 this. It's just the shape, you mean? Yeah. Okay. Well, and it's shiny. Look at how shiny it is. I like <laughs> well, shiny. I haven't shined this one up yet. Well, I don't know I what you're going to do. I was waiting for you. Okay, give me your fingers. It's been a while since Grant has had nails on. Do you miss them? Uh, yes and no. Mm -hmm. I, I miss the clickety clackety of whatever I would do. <laughs> well, let's put some clickety clackety back. Clickety, you struggled there. I'm you want to take give, another try at that? Clickety let's clackety? Let's put some clickety clackety back. Okay, all right. <laughs> We're going to give you these nails. So the reason I wanted to do this, we want to have matching nails. But yours are going to be, I'm going to show how to do these shorter and more manageable. Because, you know, these are not really practical. And more masculine. Yes, that's right. There we go. Because that's what you are. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so we are going to start doing this little cut. Now, I have something you might like. Now, you never complain before. When you get really good at e-filing, nothing really bothers you. But look at this little guy. These are new. Look at this little tiny, tiny, tiny. Do you think this is going to be better for it me? Just might, no, it's just easier to get into oh. the corners if you're if you're learning e-file. But look at the size difference. I thought it was for me to, to feel better. You can have it if you want. No, no, I don't want it. <laughs> Not gonna use it. Okay, so, okay, so it's gonna is, it gets around corners. Well, you don't really like the filing part. Do no, you? no, no. This purple one is what I normally use, mm -hmm. and this one without the upper band on it is what we're gonna use today. So maybe it'll be a little bit more comfortable for you because some people don't like the e filing. It just feels weird. E filing's fine. It's the um the spongy hand file. I oh, that you really don't like. Okay. Oh, good. Good to know. Yeah. So yeah, I will still suffer. Don't worry. Yeah. I hope so. That's what you came here for. <laughs> so I'm just going to put this, look at this little guy. You just pop that right on there. It's friction fitted, so you got to really push it down. But look at that. Adorable. Won't that be comfortable? So let's give that a whirl. We're doing that now? Yeah. We're going to buff the natural nail and get it oh, all ready. Oh, okay. All right. To put the product on. <laughs> well, you it's don't It's been know. a while since I've done this. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> it's not like you're a nail technician. You're, you know, you're just trying to enjoy the process. These nails are too long. I can't get my bit yeah, in there. Yeah, you struggled there. Okay, so let's buff this up. Now I'm going to just push the cuticles back a little bit. Normally I don't really make a big production with that because usually my e-file does that. I like to do that with my e-file. But just for the process of showing because sometimes it's really hard to tell when you're doing that. So I'm just going to push this back. So these are going to be cute, Grant. These are going to be the little baby versions of what I have. You're going to make these nubs look good? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, that's what I do. It's fair. That is what you I've do. done this before. <laughs> it's, it's true. Nailed, a few times, yeah. Nail biters are some of my favorites because it's, you know. Who's your favorite nail biter? Hmm. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm sorry how bad these nails look. I bit them on the way here. Um... <laughs> As if you didn't know that already. It's like telling the dentist, it's like, oh, I floss every day. And it's like, no, you don't. No, you don't. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's starting to soften up a little bit. They were a little bit hard to push back. When was the last time you pushed back? Like last year? Uh, when was the second wave of the pandemic? <laughs> Late 2020? Okay, okay. 2021? <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to gently buff this up. Just going to file this a little. I sort of see how I push it back at the same time. But those were kind of hard. I might have to actually trim that cuticle. It's uh, pretty bulky. Do, do you want me to just sort of, you know, munch it off? You or? just want to munch it off? Yes, yeah. Grant. That's what I'm going to advocate. I mean, I've already been biting this morning. I can just continue. <sighs> Your little fingers are just kind of numb now, now eh? I'm I mean, numb to the pain. Yeah. 30 now, Poor Susie. Things. You're 30 now. You're getting Every, old. Everything's numb in life. My spirit, my <laughs> nails. <laughs> You're getting old and numb and fat, yeah, apparently. Yeah. Okay, we have done so many videos together, and you get a fair amount of comments. Some positive. So let's let's hear some of the the funny ones. 
Oh. Let's uh, hear them. Let me see. You, you assume that I remember these You got comments. your phone. Get your phone out. Okay. It's under my leg. You're never three inches from that phone. Oh, be quiet. See, look at it. I pushed it back pretty good. It looks pretty good. I mean, if there's an excess amount of cuticle, you can Munch orally it trim it with your teeth. Or you can cut it off, you know, with a nippers. Maybe I should do that. But it is punching back pretty good. It's, it's sitting back there pretty good. But, I mean, I don't have to do it now. I can do it after. And if you are nipping away cuticles, I do recommend that you do do it after. Because if you do nip a little too close and you hurt them, then when you're working on it, it's going to be even more irritating. So do it after. Can I be controversial and ask a question? Yeah. Why are people opposed to trimming? The trimming the cuticle? Yeah. Because some people think it is live tissue. Mm -hmm. And it is live tissue if you go further back. But some people really don't know the identification between the dead, icky stuff and the stuff. Well, we're sort of in a trend right now where we're removing all of the cuticle. Mm -hmm. It looks cool, but it's not very good for the health of the nail. So I don't really advise ah, it. Okay, so it's we just sort of a misunderstanding on what... Yeah, where that line is to go. And that's probably a whole other video. You opened up a whole can of worms. Grant. Just getting your... your yeah, but no, that's a really here. good question, though. It is a good question. You know, I should cover the video of like really in depth on that kind of thing. But it's not as fun as doing nail designs, <laughs> <laughs> which is what we're going to do. So I am going to, remember I said I did mine in gel, but I'm going to layer Grant's in acrylic first. And then we'll put the gel on top because acrylic is more conducive for nail biters. It's a much, much stronger product to be able to hang on. And you won't be able to bite it as much. Well, you can't bite it, but you won't. Well, you'll find a way, but it's much harder. Okay, you only so. had to qualify that three times. That's good. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so yeah, we have got a lot of comments over the years. Okay, okay. And you said there were some funny ones or mean ones. Well, I, I don't know that ones. I call them funny. Well, so mean much ones, as ones they are, are funny. Hurtful and accurate. Yeah, but you're tough. You can I, handle. It. I found just okay. I got five. I got five. Oh, you got five. Okay, let's okay. hear it. Uh, so the first one, I don't know what this is from, but their dialogue makes me uncomfortable. Oh. So that was in reference to you and I. Talking back and forth. Yes. Um, well, that's a good point. Um, that's a good point. Let me just... People don't know that we're just, like, joking. We're not serious. So when I say, like, okay, my mom... You've been joking? <laughs> the time? See, that was a joke. That was good. <laughs> that's right. Susie and I are that's actually... Good we get along do. well. Mm -hmm. We don't... We're not kicking each other under the table. Well, you this. kicked me five times Sometimes. since you've been here, but we'll pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to put the nail form on. Now, with nail biters, it's very different. They can have, like, look at these guys, right? This, see the extra finger? I'm sorry. We, see, see, see the, the extra, extra see finger? This? See this little part? You mean, you mean the bulbous yeah. little? Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. I call it bulbous. I'm trying there to be go. nice. Okay. Okay. That's, that's I mean, nice. I don't have to be. Okay, so this is extra meat on the end of the finger. <laughs> it's just a little bit more because it's kind of upset, so it kind of gets defensive. And when you're biting, this can get bigger, and then you're munching all the way back, right? Yeah. Yeah. So forms are meant to be below. The only trouble you run into forms with uh, nail biters, and this is the hardest finger to form, quite honest, is the sides. So you really want to make sure the sides are lower. You don't want them crossing over like this, but you want them to be lower. And you sure you want to get as close to the free edge of the nail. There is no free edge. So we have to pretend where this is going to grow. Ooh. You bit all the free H edge humbling, off. Humbling experience yeah. with Susie here. Yeah, well, this is not personal. This is uh, technical. Ooh. Okay, so that comment that they made is true. We do kind of tease each other a lot, but it's we're just joking. Mostly. Yeah. 80% of I the mean, time. I'm se when I mean, see, I reserve the mean stuff behind your back. Off camera. Yeah, so when you're not here, uh, I do the same or even with you. in front of your face, <laughs> off camera. <laughs> That's only fair. Yeah. At least I'm honest. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've got another one for you. This one's just about me. Uh, this guy's irritating me. This whole interaction is irritating me. He shouldn't talk. <laughs> I'll just, do that too. I should just sit here silently. Um, well, we have talked about that. Camera, uh, cameraman and I have discussed maybe Grant shouldn't just talk at all. Well, that's the what? dream. I don't remember ever saying that. <laughs> I'm throwing cameraman. I'm, I'm just teasing. You know that that is the dream. If I could only get you to shut up. Yeah, mm. yeah, that's fair. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna use what is this? We're gonna use clear because we want it to be clear. We want to look right through the nail, like we did this one. Remember, we did the first layer clear. Okay, this is a new one. Okay, go ahead. What else? I like you don't just take it off from the edge. You just well, I, poke inside. I have no patience when it comes to things like that, Grant. Uh, 
Uh, this is another nice one, and I know a lot of viewers will will share this. Grant needs to shave his armpits. Oh, do you lift oh. your arm up? <laughs> well, I I'm what? not in this video. I'm not. What? in this Did video. you ever? How did well, they? How I think did... I think it was visible, and oh. I did not shave my armpits. Mm. I'll have you know. No, you know what? It's yeah. amazing we didn't get a strike against us. <laughs> That's <today>. right. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I think I can see some peeking out right no! now. <laughs> no, no, Cameron, no. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's goodness not good. me. Yeah. I'm going to have to censor that, I think. <laughs> what? Okay, before you read that, just let me do a little education. That's what my channel's all about, right? Is it? Yeah. And this is a really good teachable moment. I thought it was about me. It is. Well, today. <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to do here is put a thin layer of acrylic on it, and we can put the mylar to that. But when you're doing uh, a nail bitten, when you are doing a bitten nail, you want to measure from here to the free edge, well, he has none, so right to this edge here, cut it in half and only do that much longer. So don't do a very long nail. I'm gonna do this super, super thin so we can put the product on top. A third, a third, okay. a third. That's right, oh, you do watch them sometimes. Were you in that one? Yes, I was. That's, That's why. why you watched yeah. it. Okay, so what have you got there? I wanna hear that, what else? You oh, got? what else I've got? <coughs> <coughs> oh, this clear is, the throat. <coughs> this is a novel. Three oh. words, Grant got fatter. Oh. <laughs> I did. Well, I unquestionably I mean, got. You're 30. I got chunkier over That's the That's what years. happens. Because how long ago did we start doing this, Susie? When was the first video cameraman with Grant? Around like year one, right? 2015. Yeah, so it's always been a decade. Something yeah. Like that. Wow. Well, I mean, you know, we get fat in a decade. I certainly That's did. what happens. I gained like 35 pounds, mm -hmm. I think, in seven months at one point. Well, it's your French stretch vanilla. Stretch marks. I got stretch marks. Um. Well, at least I've had two children. I can justify my stretch marks. I've had a lot of French vanilla. Yours is just French vanilla there, there's, induced. There's one under the table that the camera's not seeing, <laughs> actually. So. I told you you could have it on the table. It's all good. It's an extra large, and he pretty much drank it before he got here. Yeah. Timmy, so you know, is about literally three minutes from here. Yeah, ish. Tim Hortons for the non-Canadians. Yes. Tim yes. Hortons is three minutes from anywhere in Canada. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. Okay, so I'm going real thin with this. Look how tiny and thin this is. This is so cute. You can't see it yet, Grant. No, but I'm sure it's adorable, just like me. It's cute. Don't feel bad about getting fat, Grant. You know what? That's why you have such a, a nice personality. <laughs> just because I'm fat. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> Listen, kidding. I'm fat and happy, and I'm living my fantasy. Well, like I say, I mean... That's what happens when we get older. We get a little bit more. And you really haven't gotten fat. I think no. you're like. I'm, I'm straight, thin, but gay fat. Oh, okay. That, yeah. That's happy fat. So, yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Okay, so now I'm going to wait for this to dry. Let's see what else you got there. I've only got one more. Okay. You ready? Okay. Is this guy in his right slash okay mind? <laughs> no, I'm not. What and video I was been, that? I don't know. Oh, wasn't that funny? People were particularly rude on our first video. Were they? Yes. That was the nail when you bit. That <laughs> yes, there was a nail involved no, in the no, video. No. Yes. That yes. was when you bit your nails. And see, the reason why I got Grant on the channel is because I needed somebody who bit their nails, but most, I was in the business already, so everybody I knew had fake nails. So I needed somebody that didn't have fake nails on that bit their nails. And that's why I called you. Yeah. I said, Grant, get over here. I got to do video. And you got lots of views. Yeah, and did really well. And some people who cared for me deeply, passionately. <laughs> the ones that do like you. Absolutely, yes. Those were bots. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, camera. They were all bots. <laughs> Russian trolls, you name it. Yeah, yeah, that's what they were. Ooh, ouch, caraman. Yeah. yeah. Just, just having fun. <laughs> That's right. That's what that's what we're trying to say. We're just joking around, right? So we're just going to let this dry a little bit. Because I don't want to rip it off. If I rip it off okay. now, I like that. Pause. Are you listening? Yeah, yeah, I might just like the pause. Are you learning? Eh. I should have got Steve in here. Yeah. Steve has nice nails. Yeah. He's watching Netflix. Don't <laughs> that's worry. What doing right now. <laughs> that's what he's doing right now. Yes. Now I got to clean my brush. Because now we're going to be going into the gel. Is there a reason you whispered that? No. Okay. Just to make sure you're listening. Make sure you're paying attention. The gel. Yeah, the gel. Okay. Let that dry for a sec, Kate. We're just going to give that a minute, okay? Okay, I'm going to hold it here. 
Yeah, because if you put it tree. down on the counter, you might move the form. Oh. And then it's going to readjust the whole thing, and then I'm going to be mad. How long does it take to dry? Maybe a minute Cure? or two. A minute or two. Mm -hmm. Is that the word I'm looking for? Cure? Mm -hmm. We aren't going to nuke it. Mm -mm. I don't know when we nuke it, when we don't nuke. You don't nuke acrylic. Is that right? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I think so. <laughs> you're, you're reasonably confident? <laughs> I'll have to research it. Okay. Let me Google that real quick. It's, a, it's an honest question. A lot of people will actually ask me. I went to a salon and they were nuking the acrylic. Or do I have to buy a lamp with my acrylic? Oh, that makes sense. Now, okay, okay. Because no, I, I'm being dumb. I, I get it now. <clears throat> I get why you wouldn't do that. It's always longer when you're waiting. Normally, I would go on to the other fingers. But we're just focusing on this one today, mm -hmm. right now. I'm waiting for a click. Waiting for that. Okay, we'll just wait. Okay, this is what we're putting in. Now, I have done it where I did, this one was mostly green and silver, and this was gold and green, and this was gold with little bits of green and lighter stuff in it, but I like this one better. Now, we have to put some stuff on it, but I like the gold and the green. So, you sorry, are you me. asking my opinion, or is uh, this just... I don't just... think I really want your opinion. Okay, so you're just... Putting it out there for the... Yeah, I'm talking to them. Okay. Well, I hope I'm just going to put a bunch in there and... Hope for the best. Yeah. Okay, so I think I'm going to just buff this little guy up a little bit. There's the click. Okay, so I'm going to loosen that. And then what I want to do, because this is super thin, it could still break because it's really thin. Uh, it doesn't hurt. No, it's just giving me anxiety. Oh, okay. You want to release from the sides first. Ah. See that? Release, and then gently pull away. Good work, Susie. I know. First time I ever did that. Well done. Okay, and now I'm just going to slightly buff it because I'm putting another product on top of another product that don't normally go together. And I'm going to put um, a bridge in between, which is, a, is an adhesive. That's what I call my adhesive. And this product is excellent for bonding between two different products. Get rid of the dust. And I'm just going to gently massage that into everywhere on that nail. Because I'm going to put the mylar everywhere on that nail. So I'm just going to, you can just stick your little hand in there. There you go. This is what you miss, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty satisfying. You miss Especially that? like when you're on a keyboard and yeah, uh, all of right. them go. Right, in between. Yeah, yeah, I get that. We all love to do that. Okay, enough fun. Let's get down to business here. Okay, so now I've got that nice sticky layer. So now I'm going to put some of my hard gel in there. I'm going to use Susie's glass because we want it to be nice and crystal clear see-through. I need the tiniest amount, and I'm going to avoid those bubbles, of course. This is just enough, like, a layer of nail polish. So this is a super, super small amount. I don't know if you can see how small. I'm just barely getting the brush with some product on there. See, I'm just going to paint a nice thin layer, just like it's nail polish. And I want to make sure I get this everywhere I want the product, the Mylar product, to be. So again, just like the big nail, we want this nice and thin. The first layer we put on is just nice and thin, and then this layer is super, super thin. And now we're gonna, don't nuke it, we're gonna start attaching the colors. Oh. Mm -hmm. Because this stuff is super sticky. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you nuke it, it ain't so sticky. Okay. So this is kind of funny. Your nail is actually shorter than the piece of mylar. So you know what we could do? Where's my scissors? I'm just gonna... We're, we're just gonna have to start again, clearly. And, <laughs> no, and no, down. improvise, <laughs> always improvise. Oh. I'm just gonna cut the end off. Right? Oh, you don't seem happy about that. I'm thinking about poor camera and is gonna have to clean this up later. <laughs> oh, I yeah. clean it up. <laughs> no, be I'm busy working with all the camera cards while she's, Susie does all that. That's right. Actually, you know who's gonna clean it up? Me. Yes, I'm going to make you stay after and clean it up. Actually, fair. would you? Yes. So I can, go, yeah, so right. I can go sit on the couch and do nothing? <laughs> oh, look at that. 
You can't look at it, because if you look at it, it pulls it out of focus. Well, sorry. Yeah, let me just control this finger. We want them to see it. I don't care what you if you see it. Mm -hmm. Not until it's finished. Honestly, that's so cute. You know what I'm gonna do? It is cute. It is adorable. I'm gonna put it this way, too. If I go this way, too, then I can just cut off the end. And then I don't have to, then I don't have to cut it off. See? Stick that there. Do you like the gold ones? I think I like the gold. Are you not going to use silver? I don't know. Okay. I like silver probably the most. Really? Yeah. Give me like six. I don't know if I can fit six on here. Give <laughs> me six of the silver. Six. Why six? I don't know. Just i to keep it exciting. You are struggling. Well, I mean, these are really, really tiny. They are all sticking together. Oh. Okay, let me get this one on the side. Okay. It looks big on camera, but it's because <laughs> we have such a close shot, but it's a, yeah. it is actually. That is tiny. so true. Some people will say, actually, some of the comments will be, your nails are so thick. Say, like, oh, no, honey. The, the, we're, we're in there so zoomed in, it just feels like that, but they're not thick at all. If anything, I'm on the thinner side. Oh, I'm, I'm really liking that. Okay, it's coming together. I can see it now. I'm not I'm so really sure good. if I'm happy about your silver choice. Okay, well. That's okay. We're going to humor you. I'm going to put some more in there. That's nice. That was silver. I'll put some more in there for you. So kind of you. <laughs> Yeah, I need to get some balance. I need some mm. green in there. Look at this. This is like several. See if I pinch it and sort of twist it. These are super, super thin. I, yeah, I wouldn't have the patience to spread those out. Mm. Nope. Mm. You know, I'm not really a very patient person. I don't consider myself super patient, but I do have patience for this. For me. It takes a lot longer to describe it when you're educating on it. I mean, if I was just doing it, it goes much quicker. What do you think, Grant? I mean, it looks like a mess. Look at that. Uh, well. I mean, it looks like a mess because you probably don't understand it's, what I'm it's doing. Gonna, I can't quite see it yet. Okay. It looked good. That Fair now enough. I'm like, eh, I don't know. I think it's because of like the edge too. The, f the not free yeah, edge. Yeah, the free edge is throwing yeah. you off. Yeah, a little bit. That's okay. How many are you going to put on there? <laughs> I feel like there's a lot on there. I'm going for double. Are you? Double of what's already on there? Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you. Okay. See, you weren't here for when I did my fingers, but I'm going to show you. So I'm going to stick this on, then I'm going to nuke it. Okay. Let's give it a nuke. Okay. Okay, I'm going to grab another really thin layer. Again, like nail polish thing, right? Okay, so now I'm just going to encase all these guys in another layer of gel, super thin. Oh, that one didn't stick so good. Oh, that's okay. We'll just let that come off and then we'll put another one in that spot. Okay, now don't nuke that. And then I'm gonna put another layer. Yeah, I'll put some of your stupid silver in there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the silver is ready. <laughs> you gonna go in the opposite direction? I don't know. No, the answer is no. You're not that going there. That looks good. I think there's two there. Yeah, look at that. I'm gonna put that over there. I like that when that happens. Okay. And I do like the gold. Do you like the gold? Or do you care? I like the gold. Gold is my least. No, no, the green. The green's the least? I'm not a big fan of green. Oh. Yeah. I like gold. I like silver. Yeah. I can appreciate that. I'll put... Oh, yeah, you don't like the green so much. Well, I mean, you put green on there. I'm not... I, I don't hate it, hate it. It's just my least favorite of the three. Alrighty. That accent's better than your Scottish one. That's pretty bad. I, but what was that accent that I just did? A little more English. Was it? Yeah. It wasn't too bad. That's actually probably what I got the most praise for in the comments was my Scottish accent. <laughs> that they liked it? No. Oh, I'm yeah, right. yeah, I thought so. <laughs> no, we had quite a few actual Scottish correcting 
Yeah. 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 Well, well you I, tried. Cause, I mean, because I think what I did was actually like a Cockney, but I claimed it was Scottish. Right. Right. I don't know where Cockney Which, is. I think it's East don't. London or something. I don't know. We should go to Cockney. Let's go, Susie. Yes, because I would love it because I love to listen to the ex, especially the children with the accents. Okay, let's so go this summer. Cute. We'll go to, to London. Okay. We'll film videos there. And we'll have crumpets. <laughs> okay, I'll try to hold off on the green so much. She says that she applies more green. More green. <laughs> That's nice. Well, it gives it such a nice dimension. Look at that. That's starting to look really good. It is coming together. I'll give you that. Even with the green, it's coming <clears throat> together good now. I can see it. I like it. Okay, a couple more and then we're gonna we're gonna put the builder gel on it. We just got to. And then we're gonna nuke it? Yeah. Then we're gonna file it. Then we're gonna top coat it, and I'm gonna get rid of you. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching our video. <laughs> Our video. Oh, then we got to do the other fingers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'm now gonna nuke it. Okay. Okay, now I've got my design in place. I'm just gonna do the final blob, which is the structure and strength layer. Okay. You right. got that, Grant? I got it. You're gonna do it, Susie. That's gonna... a lot. That's... Yeah, that's yeah. a lot for that little finger, but. Oh, is that truly how much you need? Oh, okay. It might be too much, but... Okay. I like the way it looks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to blob it on. I'm assuming that's a technical term, blob it on. Yeah. <laughs> no no witty, witty response for that. You it's just... so much more relatable than, you know... Apply the product. Yeah. Yeah. We all just, we just blob it on. Except I'm getting a little bit. I'm spending too much time talking. I need to. So you're blobbing it on poorly. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Well, I didn't really pay attention to that one little side. I hope we get mean comments about how I'm correct. Oh, I'm you. sure there'll be lots of mean ones <laughs> on this one. <laughs> Why okay, is Grant upside there? down. <laughs> because he's got bit nails, and they're awesome. Okay. Now we're just holding it upside down a little bit to give it a little bit of. What are we doing? Oh, are we letting it all sort of? Out? Yeah. That's what I love about gel. It's awesome. Okay, now we're gonna nuke it right away. But away from my... Don't wanna do that because with the light will nuke it. Right. Right? Don't wanna do that. Didn't you do that once? Never. Mm-mm. Pretty I've sure never you did made that, that when, we were, when we were filming No. Nope. That's never happened. Didn't make the cut, I notice. I'm pretty sure it happened. We have all done it. Everything I advise people not to do, I've done. <laughs> <laughs> that's the honesty the viewers are looking for, right? I mean, there. that's how I know not to do it. <laughs> and what happens when you do it wrong? That's how you learn, right? You have to make those mistakes. You have to. Just like I'm probably going to cut you when I nip those things off, but hey, I'm learning. I'm just yeah, you still. <laughs> yeah, I will cut it, but I'll wait till I file it and then. I'll nip it off just because it's really bulky yes. and it's, you know, it's really ugly. But if you cut too much all the time, what you can do is cause it to ferociously grow back. Oh. Yeah. I had one client once. She was just like a fanatic and she cut it like once a week and she didn't need to. Once it's done, I mean, it, you don't have to keep, Go but on. she did and caused it to be very, very thick. So she had an overgrowth of it all the time. Oh. Mm-hmm. Fun facts. Yeah, it's quite interesting, actually. Okay, so I'm just going to remove that sticky layer. Oh, it's going to be cute, Grant. Adorable. It's going to be really cute. Okay, I'm just going to... First, I always file my free. I'll just go ahead and file this up. I really like these square. They're going to be short and square. They look good on you. I really like it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the other fingers and then we'll have a matching set. Okay, okay. We've finished filing Grant's nails up. They're so cute. And we've got some oil on there, so we'll just massage it all in. 
and then we're going to take some photos. But first, I have to top coat my thumb because I think it's going to be gorgeous. I think these are adorable and cute. Look at them. Look how cute those are. They're, they are 12 out of 10. So <laughs> yeah, they're adorable. Mine are better, though. <laughs> they Well, they are. It's true. I, honestly, I can't even argue. Honestly, I don't know. These are pretty cute. But this one's... I'm going to top coat this. Okay, just move your hand. Move, move, move. Okay, I'm going to top coat this one because I want to see how gorgeous it is. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's coming alive. Now, do you think your mine are better? I already did. <laughs> <laughs> because, because it's... I mean, it, the, the top coat really brings it together. Yeah, yeah and does. you know what? I did this one better, and I'm glad I did this one on the video because it's just the collection of colors. It's better than these ones because this one has less. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what am I trying okay. To say? What this are you saying? This one's more green. This one's more green and gold. But this one has more gold and green, so it just looks like more facets of it. I guess I just did more. I okay. Can, I kind of like the squared off ones better. Oh really? Yeah, I do. I mean, they all look good. I mean, they they do, but I I like this one. I think I just it's like okay to shape. be wrong. It's I wore right. square for twenty eight years, so I'm like I like Over it. I like the oval and the pointy. Okay, let's take a look at the final photos. Okay, before you go, I just want to show you this. In my collection of Love is in the Air, I have a color called Fine Wine, and I just want to show you what it looks like when you put it over top of this Mylar stuff. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that cool? It's rich. It's a rich color. Yes. You can, if you just pull it not too thick, If you don't do it too thick, oh my goodness, look at that. Look at it. Do it to mine. You like it? It is actually Okay, I'll do it to you. I like it too. Isn't that cool? Okay, now look, I also did this color. This is called Honey, and this is from my Sheer collection. And I thought it was cool too. Look at that, isn't that neat? Now I did do it with the other colors in that Shears collection that I have, and I didn't like it as much. The pink one wasn't bad, the watermelon one wasn't bad at all, but I didn't like some of the other ones, but this one and the red are gorgeous. Okay, so your hand again, let me just take a look. These turned out adorable. I have to say they're much cuter, shorter than I thought they would be. And I did clean up the cuticles, I did cut them, and I did cut grants. I meant to do that on camera, but we got talking and I totally forgot. So I just went and nipped them away before I completely finished them off. Okay, well, we need time to do the other hand because you're going to go out of this house in style. I intend to leave at some point, yes. <laughs> going to get rid of him right now. Okay, well, thanks for joining me, Grant. Thanks Until for having me. Until the next video. Thank you so much. And uh, those are great. Enjoy them. Let me know what Steve thinks. I will. Okay, see you later, guys. Bye.